Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today I want to introduce you to a new project called Plug Data. Um, this is the GitHub page. The link is in the description below if you want to try it out. And this one is a plugin wrapper around pure data to allow patching in a wide selection of DOS, which means it takes pure data, um, creates a new interface for it, code it in choose, and adds also third party uh, libraries to it like else and cyclone so we have widgets available in here and it also has a dark mode which is really helpful and the patcher itself is very nice to use um, compared at least to the raw pure data patcher and it's all available as a plugin inside your door or inside of bitwig studio so you can go down to the pure metal raw stuff inside your DAW uh, with this plugin, which is really, really nice. It's also completely compatible with pure data patches. So when you find some pure data patches on the net, you can use that or just implement it in this plugin if you want to. Um, if you want to download this, you can go here to the releases page to download the latest stable uh, patch. Or you can use like I do or like I did here with the actions tab um, just use the latest nightly build you can see it's currently building here um, I used this one here I think um, 18 hours ago just click on that also the green check mark shows you that the build is was successful and then you can go scroll down here and to the artifacts and you can download here the, uh, the zip files for uh, win64 or linux or mac os x when you downloaded this it's basically just a zip file in there there is an installer when you install it on your system then it's available inside your dar hopefully as a vst3 plugin and you can search for it uh, with plug data as you can see as a VST3 and then it's available inside your DAW um, like an instrument or like a VST effect in here you can start to uh, patch things and I want to show you um, a small patch how you can start and how it works how uh, basically yeah what you can do with it so in here we create a new patch and you can see there's a grid um, where we can lay out certain modules. It's exactly like the pulley grid or node grid in a, in a sense, uh, but it's much more lower um, abstraction than the grid. So here in there, we can create a new object and usually you want to use an empty, empty object, maybe a number or a message, but there's of course more stuff here. For instance, like high level abstract widgets like an oscilloscope here, which we probably want to use um to sh to show or to see what's going on so let's create an oscillator and to create an oscillator we need an empty object and we can also use your control and one and i think the shortcuts are basically the same as in max dsp so in here we just hold control and one and create this new empty object and you can see there's a cursor flashing and it awaits something we can type in so we type in osc for oscillator and there's also here auto completion. So we can use the arrow keys to go down to um, OSC tilt. And tilt basically means that the output of this module is a signal. And blue means it's uh, the output is data, a data signal. And um, orange means also it's an audio signal. So orange audio signal, blue data signal, right? Also, the tilt is very important. You need to input that, just hit return. And you can see we have now here a new module. Um, maybe let's zoom in here a bit more so you can see it better. Um, just for the, the screen recording here. Okay. You also can see we have here an orange input and orange output, which means it inputs an audio signal and you can also output an audio signal. Also the oscillate oscilloscope here takes an audio signal as an input, so we can connect these two. There's nothing going on here uh, because um, yeah, we haven't made any inputs here to the oscillator. 
So now we need to change the frequency of this oscill oscillator and it takes here a frequency value in Hertz. So what we need is a number. So control N3 and we create a number box and we can connect these two. And to increase this number, we need to go to presentation mode and presentation mode are available when you hit control and hold control like this or when you use this lock symbol down uh, on the left side here you can switch to permanent um, lock mode or permanent presentation mode but if you want to just change the number instead of moving this around so you click and hold and you can move it but you want to if, if you want to change the number you just hold control and can increase here the number maybe to uh, at 50 hertz right and you can see here um yeah, the wave unfolding in the oscilloscope. And the wave here has maximum volume. As you can see, it's already clipping here. So we need to change the volume or the gain or the amplitude, whatever you want to call it. So we can do this with an operation and the operation is called multiplication. So we introduce a new object here, an empty object with control and one. And you want to multiplicate something here. And we also want to change um, the audio signal. So we need to tilt. We take this and then we hold shift while we are tracking this. Hold shift, move this in between here. And you can see it snaps in between and it cuts here the signal already, which is pretty nice to do. And we have now this operation here in between the output of the oscillator and the input of the oscilloscope. So now this one takes your second input, which is probably our uh, volume value. So we need a number. We take this number here, hit Control and D to duplicate this. And we can take the output of this to the input of this operation. So now we can go to presentation mode with Control and increase here the volume. So you can see it goes up. But we never want to go higher than one. Probably. Um, because uh, one is the maximum value of um, the internal calculations or whatever. So there is no dB or anything like that. One is the maximum, zero is the minimum, right? So we can select here this box and can go to the inspector on the right side and can choose a minimum value of zero and the maximum value of one. Or maybe we go to 0 0.9, so not, not maximum 1. Um, so we can increase this here only to 0 0.1. And we can't go lower than 0, okay? Just for safety purposes. So now that we have this, we also um, want to output this maybe to our DAW, right? So we can hear actually something. And to do that, we need a new module. So we use control and one. And this module is called DAC tilt. Of course, we want to output or input um, audio signal. And it's probably uh, the shortcut for digital audio conversion or something like this. And it takes two inputs here. And this is, of course, our audio signal. And now we can increase the volume and the frequency. Nice. So that's all good and we can hear already something in the door, but we want to also change maybe the frequency with our keyboard and maybe we want to increase the volume when we press a key and when we release a key, we want to decrease the volume. And we can also do that in here. And I show you just how to do that. We need a new, you guessed it, a new module. So we hit control one for an empty object. And this one is called note in. And this one gives us three new signals, data signals. Uh, this one here is the node number, this one is the MIDI velocity, and this one is the MIDI channel port, okay? So um, just for the information, if you want help 
about some of these modules. You can do that by just holding Alt on your keyboard and click on one of these modules here. And it opens up this kind of tab. Yeah, it's a tab uh, with a sub patch. And it shows you what the node in can do. You have got also some examples here, um, how to use it with different other modules, a lot of text. So it's a nice little help page you can use and you can also just copy stuff out of this um, patch or this help page and can use it in your own um, yeah, current main patch. So this was a crash here and this happens. It's yeah, it's basically not release, released yet. Um, maybe I want to increase this here. Let me see. Yeah, let's use that. Yeah, so this is how you open up the help page. So we can also do this here for the oscilloscope. So just hold Alt, click on it, and then you can see here what's going on and um, how you use it with different combination of modules. You can also see this oscilloscope here as part of the else library. So it's not pure data, a, a native pure data module, right? Okay. So now we can create here, or we have an oscillator playing with a frequency, with a set frequency, and we can also change the loudness. We want to use here now a MIDI on note in. Note in gets us three new inputs. So the note number is not compatible with the frequency. The note number is, yeah, a different kind of unit. So we have to convert the note number, the MIDI note number to a frequency. We can do this with a module called um, MTOP, MIDI to frequency conversion. <laughs> you can go in here just with the note number and then you get the frequency out of it. So we connect these two. And now when we play something on the keyboard, it's actually armed, yeah, nice. When you play something on the keyboard, you can see the frequency is changing. Maybe increase here the volume. Okay, so this works. Um, to switch on the volume, when we press something on the keyboard, we can utilize here the velocity output. And the velocity is a value between 0 and 127. That's the MIDI standard. And when we go into here, you can see this one, the volume is all is between 0 and 1 or 0 and 0 0.9. And the velocity is between 0 and 127. So we have to do some kind of conversion here to actually scale this a bit down. And we can do this with uh, just a division. So we use a new module. Let's say divide everything by 100, right? So 127, which is the maximum velocity value, becomes 1.27. Maybe you can divide this here by 127. Should be fine. And just hook this up here in between. And now, you can press a key on the keyboard and also the velocity changes the volume slightly. So this kind of works. Um, what you want to do now is probably to implement your some kind of envelope, but I don't want to do that in this video. I just want to give you a rough idea how this kind of plugin works, how pure data works and what you can do with it. So um, we have your node in, so we get the MIDI data, we convert MIDI data to frequencies. We have an oscillator here working. The um, oscillator goes to an amplifier. The amplifier changes volume based on our uh, velocity. And then we go out to the door and we have also an oscill oscilloscope here showing what's going on. So that's how it works. Um, you can save this, of course, with your project. Everything in here will be saved with your project. 
and also um, when it crashes you can probably load up um, your last saved state and also saving is pretty easy you just hit this button and say just tutorial and it's saved um, there are also things like sub patches so we can create fancy envelopes multi-stage envelope generators or whatever you want to create and then save it as a sub patch and then load or bring this in here into this into your main patch and use it there without using you know or creating all that stuff every time from scratch and there are also a lot of uh, third-party uh, libraries that give you stuff like this but i want to show you um, how you use pure data here um, with the raw modules more or less or how this kind of stuff works so um, that's it give it a try the link is in the description below if you have questions please leave a, leave it in the comments leave a like if you like the video subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and i see you in the next video bye